Howdy howdy, this is Mr. Potter, and today we're going to be playing Bitburner. It's a game on Steam, it's free, and it basically uh, looks like a console game, but what you're actually doing is you're pretending to hack servers by uh, using a Linux-type system and uh, using similar to Linux commands to uh, enter systems to hack them and to get money from them. And eventually take over the world. Uh, you can see that we've got uh, a system over here on the right. Uh, so I've got HP, my money, I've got a thousand dollars, I've got different skills here, and of course the ability to save and reset. Um, I'm actually going to go through the tutorial over here, so we're going to go ahead and start the tutorial over here. Welcome to Bitburner, a cyberpunk themed incremental RPG. So we're going to go ahead and continue through this. Um, Click the stats page. Those are the stats that I just talked about. There are a lot more stats. We've got different uh, multipliers that we've got here, and I'm sure that there are ways to modify that and get it going. You'll see the total time played. I've actually tried to go through this before and recorded a video, and you know what? It just um, it didn't record. So we're going to do it right this time. So it shows a lot of information about your progress, such as your skills, money, and bonus. Uh, let's go to Terminal. So this is our terminal. This allows us to interface with our home computer as well as other machines. So we're going to go ahead and type help to see some of the commands we've got here. So let me put my cursor down here and type help. And you can see a lot of commands that were similar to seeing in Linux. So um, we've got cat, so we can print out a file. Uh, we've got the help file. Um, we've got ls, which is going to list all our files. We've got ps, so we can see what processes we have. We have rm if we want to delete a file. Uh, we've got cp if we want to copy files. But we also have the ability to connect to other computers. So you'll see um, this scp, which allows us to copy a file to a server. You'll see um, connect, which allows us to connect to a particular host name. We even have a text editor, vim, in here so that we can uh, open up and edit uh, scripts in here. So we've got a lot of stuff that we can do. If I do ls, you'll see that I've got some files in here. So let me go ahead and remove all of my scripts that I had before. Hmm, not showing me, not allowing me to remove those. Well, we will just erase those as we get a chance to. So we've got the ability to scan, and scanning allows me to see different host names that are around here. You'll see noodles. Um, you see different server names, their IP addresses in here, as well as whether or not I have root access. Currently, I don't have root access to any of these. Uh, we have the ability to scan them. So we can do scan analyze. And you can see a little bit more information about it. You see root access, no. Required hacking skill, one. Number of open ports required, none. Uh, RAM, four gigabytes. And some of these have more gigabytes. Some of these require a larger hacking skill. Uh, some of these actually require an open port in order to nuke, which we're going to have to figure out how to do that. So let's do scan analyze two. This tells us a little bit more about these systems. So you'll see this is actually a list of a lot more stuff. So this is going to give me everything that's two nodes away. You see this zero and this max hardware, which are accessible from food and stuff. Uh, you'll see this nectar.net and csec, which are available from this iron gym. Um, those are the ones that we have to get to other nodes. So now we're going to actually try and connect to a particular node. So we're going to do connect to noodles. And now I'm on that server. In the year 2077, currency has become digital and decentralized. People and corporations store their money on servers and computers. Using your hacking ability, you can hack servers to steal money and gain experience. So, analyze. And so it's going to allow me to analyze the system. It's going to tell me about this. It's a noodle bar. I don't have root access. Uh, can run scripts on this host? No. Required hack in backdoor? One. Uh, my sec the security server security level is one. Chance to hack 42%. Time to hack is 49 seconds. There's a total of $70,000 on this server. I can hack some of that to get some of that money myself. And that's how you require money in the game, by hacking. Required number of open ports for Nuke, zero. And you can see some stuff here. So since it doesn't require any open ports to run Nuke, I can actually run the Nuke command, which is going to hopefully give me um, root access. 
So as nuke successfully, you've gained root access. You can now run scripts on this server. So now if I type hack, now I can run this script. You can see a progress bar going on here. And this is the required hacking skill for hack that we talked about. It's going to take about 42 seconds to run this, um, or about 49 seconds to run this, and I can get some money, but I failed. So this is that where it's a 42% chance to hacking. I wasn't success, successful. So now if I try it again, yeah, it should take the same amount of time. Hopefully I have a little bit better odds this time. Still failed to hack, so let's try one more time. I think in my previous video, the previous one I was trying to record, I was actually able to do it successfully the first time. Frustrating that I'm not able to right now. Goodness. It's just not allowing me to do this very well. It's not being very friendly. Hack successful. Now notice that I get $288 and I got some hacking experience and they've increased the security. So they've noticed someone's hacking, they've lost money, so they've increased their um, their security on here. Now if I go here, I notice that there's two other commands that I could run. Grow is going to allow me to grow the money on a server, but it's also going to increase um, the security on there. And then you have weaken, which is going to weaken the security on here and also increase the speed to hack it and to grow. So I'm going to go ahead and type grow. And again, as always, these commands are going to take a little bit of time to run. And you see available money has increased. It was how much? It was 70,000 and now it's 1274, so this is a little bit more that I've gained. I've gained some hacking experience, but it's also increased the security. Now if I go down here and type weaken, this is going to make the uh, server a little bit easier to access, so I should be able to hack it better. So we'll see how this goes. Security decrease. So notice that we went from a security of 1.002 to a security of 1.102 to a security of 1.052. And the lowest this can go is 1. Now, if I go back and I do another analyze on here, what was the I thought it was analyze, wasn't it? Yeah, analyze. Why is it not allowing me to run analyze now anymore? That's interesting. So it should allow me to get a little bit more information about that. Okay. All right, so let's head back home. So we're going to type home. And we're going to create our first script. So we're going to do nano to open up our text editor. And the file is going to be noodles.script. So nano noodles.script. And of course, as I mentioned, it has some script that I had in here before. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of what I've got. Because all they want is they want a simple loop while true hack noodles. So now I'm going to save and close. So if I want to know how much RAM is free, I'm going to type free. This is just like Linux. I could figure out how much uh, space is available on here. I have eight gigabytes of RAM, which is enough to run our script. Let's run our script. So run noodles.script. So now it's running the script with one thread, PID1, and args empty. Uh, your script is now running. It will run continuously in the background and automatically stop if the code ever completes. But because it's an infinite loop, it's that while true loop, it's going to run forever. Um, this is going to run, give me income in the background. Now, if I go to active scripts over here, you'll notice that it's going to list the scripts that I have. Let me hide that real quick. So it says that I'm currently using about 20% of my computer's RAM in order to, to do this. It's telling me how much money I'm earning. Right now it's zero per second because I haven't really earned anything yet. Remember, it takes about 45 seconds for this hack to run. If I go back to my terminal, I can actually take a look at the script. And I can go down here, type tail noodles.script, and this should give me the result of what's happened. 
Notice that it took 49.2 seconds. I successfully hacked. And now I'm getting almost $4,000 for my hack. Remember, before I was only getting about $700 per hack. Um, so I am getting a little bit more. And it's going to continue to hack in the background as long as I'm doing that. I have the option to kill the script right now, or I can just close it. All right, for now, let's move on to something else. All right, hacking is not the only way to earn money. One other way to passively earn money is by purchasing and upgrading HackNet nodes. Let's go to HackNet. And I have the ability to purchase things. Notice my money has gone up. I've got $5,000 here. I can purchase a node for $1,000. I'm going to go ahead and click. And now I've got this node, and notice that it's producing about a dollar and a half each second. So this is more passive income that I'm going to get. I can buy more HackNet nodes if I want to, or I can make this one more powerful as soon as I have more money to spend on it. All right, let's go to city. This is my city that I live in, and these are different uh, businesses up here. I can click on a lot of these. Here's food and stuff, and this is food and stuff. I can apply to be an employee. I can apply to be a part-time employee. It doesn't require any skills. Uh, if I wanted to work for the CIA, I can apply for agent job, but it needs a little bit more skill. So I'm going to need to level up before I can get my CIA job. I also have the ability to go to a university. I can take some courses uh, by paying for them. Um, there's also a stock exchange where I can invest my money, but it takes quite a bit of money to make money because that's the way the world works. Uh, so let me go back to world. How do I get out of my screen? Let's just go to terminal and I go back to manage. So here's my city. So there's lots of places on the map that I can click on. So finally, we're on the tutorial. And if I click on here, that's going to take me back to this tutorial. I can see all these different steps up here, but we'll go ahead and finish it for now. In the upper right-hand corner, you'll notice I've been hacking this whole time. Remember, I wrote that script that's kind of running hacking stuff in the background. My level has gone up. You can see if I, if I hover over my mouse here, let's see if I can get that. I got progress. I see what I'm remaining here. I've got remaining about 21%. Um, I've earned quite a bit of money, and you can see my money accumulating up here. These skills haven't gone up. They go up if I get a job. And so that's something that I can do. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my terminal. And when we did our scan, notice that there were several systems up here. You'll notice that noodles, I do have root access now. If I do scan analyze, notice that for noodles, I have root access, I have a hacking skill, I have the number of ports required to nuke, and then I've got RAM 4 gigabytes. So I could actually run some scripts on here, but I'm going to go ahead and try and hack food and stuff the same way that we did before. So I'm going to start by connecting to food and stuff, and I can do analyze, and this is going to do an analysis of the system. You'll notice no root access, can't run on here. It's got a security a server security level of 10, so it's a little bit more secure. Chance to hack 64%, time to hack 50 seconds. Uh, I can get $2 million off of this eventually. Required number of open ports for nuke, zero. So we're going to go ahead and run nuke, nuke.exe. And now I have root access, and so I can run scripts on here. So now if I run hack, it's going to hack. It's going to take, again, about 50 seconds to run this hack. But once it does, I'm going to get some money out of it. Ooh, failed it. So we'll go ahead and hack again. And again, I'm wondering if I'm failing it because my hack level is only a 2. It was a 1 before, so as I go through here, it's going to improve. As I run my scripts in the background, it's also going to work. So notice here, I've hacked on this computer. I've gained $7,000. Now my money has jumped up quite a bit. I can still run the grow or the weekend commands if I wanted to, but I'm going to go ahead and go back to home, and I'm going to look back at the food and stuff script that I wrote earlier. And you'll notice that it's got the same idea as what we're doing here, but every time I go through, I'm going to do one level of growing, one level of weakening, and one level of hacking. And so this is going to 
basically go through each of these steps. It's going to make it so that the system has more money. It's going to weaken the security, and then I'm going to attack it. So that's my system. I'm going to go ahead and close out of here, and I'm going to run putinstuff.script. And so that's going to be running in the... Um, it's going to be running in the background. So notice that over here, if I go to my active scripts, you'll see that I've got two scripts running. It's almost using about half of my CPU. But I'm making $17 a second on average. Um, currently have $27,000. I must have just gotten some money in here. Um, hack skill has gone up to three. So we're making some good money in here. I think we have enough money for me to go to the HackNet and to purchase a couple more nodes. These nodes are going to give me a little bit of money, but notice that each one that I purchase is going to cost me a little bit more money. And really, I'm only going to be able to get up to about five of them. I only have $4,000. There's $21,000 here, but these are going to be running in the background. Even when I have the game turned off, they're running in the background. So I'm going to be getting money even when I'm not playing the game. Similarly, my scripts that I've got running, these active scripts are going to be running in the background, hacking those systems while I'm not playing the game. So I'm going to do one last thing. I'm going to go back to my terminal. I'm going to go to noodles.script, and I'm going to put in the steps that I had before. So just like I had before, I had grow noodles. I'm going to weaken noodles and then I'm going to hack it. I'm going to go ahead and save this and close it and then we're going to I can use PS to see all of my current running processes. Notice I have the noodle script running. I'm actually going to kill it so I can type kill one and that's going to kill PID one script. That's the noodle script. So if I do PS notice only food and stuff is running and now if I run noodles that script then I now have two scripts running, the food and stuff script and the noodle script. And what should happen is that noodle script is going to run as I keep going. It's going to keep growing more and more money. That's the idea. So this is BitBurner. It's a nice little game. Uh, it's free on Steam. Um, it's available for Linux, Apple, and Mac, uh, Windows. So Anyone can have a chance to play this game, and I'm going to see how far we can get on it. So once again, this is Mr. Potter. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.